This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is water. H2O. Two part hydrogen, one part oxygen. When you separate water into hydrogen and oxygen, you can heat your house. You can power your automobile. You can cook your food. Hydrogen can be used as a storage media. By using hydrogen on demand, we gain. To make hydrogen, all we have to do is put two electrodes in this water, connect it to a battery, and on the negative side of the electrode we get hydrogen. On the positive side of the electrode we get oxygen, the same oxygen we breathe. When you burn hydrogen, you get water, which you can again put back into the system and make more hydrogen. The hydrogen that we're making here, the hydrogen that's being made with the focus cell, comes along with oxygen. You can't store them together. You cannot store hydrogen and oxygen together. So in order to do that, you have to separate it. Separating hydrogen and oxygen is a must if you're going to store it. When you use hydrogen and oxygen coming straight from the focus cell, or a cell like it, you need the oxygen. Combustion uses oxygen. So by making hydrogen on demand with a cell like the focus, we get the right amount of oxygen with the right amount of hydrogen to make the proper combustion. We have water right here, right at your house, right on the gutter, right in the gutter, rain clouds. You've got water, water H2O, two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. Did I mention we breathe oxygen? Hydrogen is one of the most abundant molecules in the universe. We're not running out of water. When you burn hydrogen, you get water. If you want to go to my site, hydrogentap.com, you can see more of the focus cell. Or you can write me, John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. This is the Hydrogen Project. There are over 1,800 people subscribing to hydrogentap.com now. So there must be something going on. Again, you can go to hydrogentap.com and see what this is about.